Okay, module four, lesson 30, our lesson objectives, we're gonna be able to divide decimal dividends by non-unit decimal divisors. Now, this is MBT27, and you can see the re in red, we're focusing on dividing decimals to the hundreds using concrete models or drawings or strategies based on place value, properties of operations, and or relations between addition and subtraction. We're basically gonna be learning the standard algorithm on this when we're at the point. Now let's take these first ones, for example. Now the first thing we're gonna do with these is we're gonna rewrite them in a fractional form so we can see what we have. It's actually two divided by one-tenth. And we're gonna write it this way is because we have to get rid of this decimal on the divisor, okay? And the bottom number is a divisor. So in order to get rid of that decimal on a divisor, I'm gonna to have to multiply this and create an equivalent fraction. And I wanna get this to a whole number. So I can see I could multiply this by 10. And this one by 10, and that would give me 20 over 10, excuse me, 20 over one, which gives me 20, okay? Now let's try this again. This time this is going to be by two tenths. So I have two holes divided by two tenths. And I want to multiply this to get rid of this decimal on the divisor. And I can see I need to move one place value. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10. Now I've got 20 divided by two. And we know 20 divided by two equals 10. Let's keep going. This time I have 2.4 divided by 0 0.2. Once again, we're gonna multiply it to get rid of the decimal. So we can see the divisors we're worried about, and then we have to move it one place, so we're gonna multiply it by 10. So what are we gonna multiply the bottom by? We have to multiply the top by. Now we got 24 divided by two. We know 24 over two, which would equal two times 12 over two times one. Take out the common factors. And we know 24 goes, uh, two goes in 24, 12 times. Just did that the other way, just to show you. And our last example here, we have two and four tenths divided by four tenths. And we're gonna multiply this to get rid of the decimal. And we can see we got to multiply both by 10 again. And that gives us 24 and four. So now we got 24 divided by four equals six. All right, let's go some more examples. This time we got the hundreds. So let's start off by rewriting it as a fraction, one and six tenths over four hundredths. And I'm gonna multiply it by something to get rid of this decimal. And you can see I need to move it two places this time. So we're gonna multiply it by 100. That means we gotta multiply the top by 100. So that means this top one's gonna be in 160 divided by four. Well, 160 divided by four. I don't know, I could split this out. This could be 16 times 10 over four. And four would go into four one time, four would go into 16 four times, which gives us 40 over one, which our answer is 40. Now we wanna double check it, we multiply it out. Let's make sure there's 40 and we're multiplying this by four hundredths. That'd be zero, 16, and you can see I need to put two decimals back in. It checks out. Let's go to the next one. 1.68 over 0 0.04. Once again, we have to get rid of that bottom decimal. So we're gonna have to move two place values. So we're gonna have to multiply by 100. And that's gonna give us 168 over four. Well, once again, now we have 168 over four. And you can do this variety of ways. Easiest way on this one would probably just use a standard algorithm. Because four will go into 16 four times. Four times four is 16. 
bring down our eight. Four goes an eight two times. That'd be eight. So our answer is 42. Let's check it out. Zero four. Let's multiply it. That'd be eight sixteen, and we have to put two places values back in. It checks. C. We have 168, and we're going to rewrite it as 0 0.12. We can see that we're going to have to multiply by 100 to get both of them without the decimal. And that's going to give us 168 over 12. So I'm going to rewrite down here 168 over 12. And once again, that's, to me, the most efficient way would be to do the standard algorithm at this point. Because 12 going to 16 one time, 1 times 12 is 12. And we have 4 left over. We bring that down. Four, 12 goes into 48. 4 times. 4 times 12 is 48. So our answer is 14. So let's multiply that by 12 hundredths to see. That would be 8, 2, 0, 4, 1. That's 168, and we have two place values put back in, so it all checks. All right, so when you divide them by decimals, and I'll pick a totally different one just to talk it through. Let's say we had two and five tenths, and I was dividing that by 0 0.5, okay? First thing you have to do is just get rid of the decimals. And you're worried about the divisor, so we're going to multiply by whatever multiple of 10, which will move that decimal to the opposite side. And I can see I got to move it one place value, so I'm multiplying both. And that'd be 25 fifths, which we know 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay? Not a, not a very hard process, and it makes di dividing decimals very easy if you have your standard algorithms wrote down. Okay? See you Monday.